Hey guys, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And this time I'm gonna show how I organize my reference images, okay? Now you may have heard that, yeah, you wanna use reference when you're modeling or when you're animating, um, really when you're doing anything, if you're drawing, whatever you're doing. And that's all great, but how do we organize and how do we view those images? And you can see here that I have a reference um, of a T-Rex. In fact, I have several references here. Um, this is actually one of the main references that I use. And um, so how did I do this? Um, for one, we can see that this is a floating menu on top of ZBrush. So even if I use ZBrush, this can stay floating on top. Uh, usually ZBrush is in front of everything. You can see it's even in front of our like uh, time and our icons down here. So how do we do this? I can even have multiple boards at once. Okay, so I could bring another board in and I can kind of have some reference over here and I can make these uh, kind of any size that I want. And uh, so it's not gonna be, um, you know, it's not gonna disrupt the interface. I could have it really small right here and then I can have another one uh, right here. No, once again, not sure I'd want that guy there, but um, you know, I could zoom in as close as I want. So let's look at that, okay? So what this is called is pure ref, okay? And if I go here, I'm just gonna go ahead and move these off to the side. I'm gonna show you how to get pure ref, and then I'm gonna show you how to navigate it and how to use it. So you go to pureref.com, and you can see here, um, you can click on get pure ref, and then you're gonna choose uh, what platform. So are you on Windows, Mac, or Linux? Okay, so I'm on Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you can choose an amount. Um, to contribute. Now, I've tried this. I, I've tried contributing an amount and um, there's no download button after I do that. So another thing you can do is go to a custom amount and you can type in zero. And when you do that, you can see it says free and there is a download button. So I don't know if something's broken on their end. Uh, maybe I'll try again at some point, but um, the only one that I could get was the free one. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit download and then I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So once it's downloaded, uh, it should be in your applications. And if I click on it and open it, it's going to be the weirdest looking program that you've ever seen. Okay, here it is. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of minimize everything. And I can see that um, and it might not be floating in front of everything right away. Um, if I grab an edge, I can move it and make it bigger. And there's really not any menus on it. Okay, and it says, hey, drag some images to get started. So what I could do, um, here's ArtStation. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move this off to the side. Whoop. And I can just take an image from ArtStation and I can literally drag and drop it right in there. Okay, see how easy that was? I just took this and I dragged it right here. And I can come down here and I can drag this. And I can drop that in, okay? Or I could just even go to the web. So I could type in T-Rex and go to images. And any image that's kind of inspirational uh, that I might want, I can just kind of drag it and drop it, okay? So, um, and then I can make it bigger. And I'm gonna talk about how to do all that stuff. Now, um, now obviously some of these images might have copyrights, things like that, but I feel like I'm not using it to sell. Uh, okay, or anything like that. I'm just kind of using it as inspiration of something that I might want to um, reference. I might want to look at, you know, the color of the T-Rex. I might want to look at, um, you know, the shape of the scales or the size of it or just kind of what other people have done with it. Um, so notice how I'm just kind of dragging and dropping. And by the way, to move this board, I can just right mouse click and drag and it'll move it like that. Um, you'll notice that it's always on top of any application. So to do that, I'm just gonna right click and go to mode, and you can see I have it set to always on top. So now no matter what program I have open, ZBrush, Photoshop, uh, what have you, this is always gonna be on top, okay? Now the other thing too is that I can zoom in. So if I put my cursor here, like right on the T-Rex eye and middle mouse wheel, it's gonna zoom in right where I'm pointing. And then if I zoom out, it's gonna just zoom out. Now if I put my mouse over here, it's gonna zoom into that section. I can also double click 
and it's going to bring that full screen. Okay, which is pretty cool. Um, boom, double click, zoom in, and now I can really start to uh, do some cool things here. So let's say if I was working and you know I'm kind of working this way, and I want to see the T-Rex from the other angle. Okay, for whatever reason. Um, what I could do is, I, I think before what I would normally do is kind of bring this into Photoshop and then go to, um, you know, flip it horizontally and then save it and then try to find that photo. But here what I can do is I can just go um, shift alt left mouse click. So I just selected it and then hold, hold down shift alt and left mouse click and drag to the, either the right or the left. Okay, so I can flip that real easily, okay, which is really cool. Um, I can also type in here. So if I right click and go to note, I can, you know, type some notes, okay? And I can make this bigger or smaller by just kind of clicking on the side and changing that bigger or smaller. Um, so I wrote down some notes here and I'm just going to go to note and then paste it. And what I typed in here were some notes whoop, for navigation in Pure Ref. Okay, so for example, um, to move the window, once again, right mouse, click and drag. Open, I can right mouse click, and then I can come down here and I can go to other things. Okay, so I could go to like load and I could um, load other boards. And I'll, I'll get into that in a second. Um, to focus an image, I'm just going to double left click on it. So for example, boom, okay, that's focusing an image. Um, zoom to pointer, okay, with a scroll wheel, that's what I was showing before. Um, pan scene, okay, scroll, click, and drag. So if I um, click on the middle mouse wheel and just kind of move it around, I can move it like that. Control Alt, um, so Control Alt. Now I can scale it uniformly like this, or I could grab a corner and I could scale it uniformly like that. And then Shift Alt, like we talked about, Shift Alt is going to flip it. Uh, one thing, if you are just hovering over it and trying to flip it, it's not gonna work, you have to select it, and then Shift Alt is going to work, and then uh, control will allow you to rotate, okay? Or you can just kind of hover over a corner and rotate. Or you could hold down shift while you're rotating and it's gonna snap like that. Okay, so once again, really cool. And then I could kind of just grab these edges, make this smaller, and I could put it into an area so now I'm right mouse clicking and dragging. And I could have this as small or as big as I want. Uh, you know, so it doesn't, kind of disrupt my interface. If I had a, um, a monitor on the second screen, I mean, that would be great to put this on. So, um, or if I if I came across a website, um, like let's say if I was at, um, you know, Sketchfab or something like that, that had a 3D rotatable uh, dinosaur. So let's say, um, let's say I go to Sketchfab and I, I like, you know, the, uh, this 3D rotatable dinosaur like this. And I'm like, you know what? I, I don't want to lose this um, this 3D rotatable reference. Okay, maybe this is a really cool reference. I could just grab this link here, control C, and then I can come in here. I could go to note and I could go control V to paste it. And now, whoa, let's see here. Now I can make this a little bit smaller. And I could just copy that link whenever I need it. And you know, I could say um, maybe a new note, say um, 3D, whoop, 3D reference. So, it, you know, if something isn't allowed to be put in 3D ref, like I can't like embed this that I know of, um, I could just maybe make a link of it and kind of post it in my notes there. So I'm just gonna kind of show you some boards uh, that I made for you know some clients, some students, and um, kind of show you what this looks like. Uh, but before I do that, um, let's say if I was happy with this board, what I could do is I could just right click and I could go to save, 
save as. And now I'll go into, um, uh, let's just say on the desktop, I could put it in my T-Rex assets and I'm gonna call this, um, you know, T-Rex ref. Save. And now if I need to uh, send that to somebody else, I could. If I need to bring it to a different computer, I could. I would, you know, I could always have it with me. But I'll just show you some that I have, um, some others. So if I go to load recent, it's gonna show you uh, the last ones that you have. Okay, so like a lighting reference. Um, these are just kind of some inspirational lighting uh, things that I had uh, for a student that I was working with. Um, I, I don't even remember exactly um, what it was, but I feel like I'm just trying to find some cool, you know, kind of lighting uh, images. Uh, I think this was for a drawing class in Procreate and um, thinking about kind of even bringing in some, some pre-illustrated images and um, trying to work with lighting studies. And sometimes I just kind of create like a, use this for like a brainstorming session. And I'll just go ahead and make this bigger. Um, and you can start to see what that looks like. Uh, I'll bring in some others. So let me see here. Um, okay, this student, um, he, he kind of gathered some reference that um, he thought would be kind of interesting. And, um, and you can see here, like, here's some guns uh, that were kind of like interesting to him. Um, some clothing, uh, some armor. Once again, I'll make this bigger. Hoodie, pants. Um, and just, once again, some things like this. Here's some cool, some other cool stuff. And then I can kind of get like, um, you know, some ideas of, of, of what people like. And um, we can kind of build from there. Um, let's see. Here's um, something I did in just in Substance Designer. Okay, so I just kind of took screenshots and kind of graphed my network, and um, and then I can kind of zoom in and look at this. And once again, if you haven't used Substance Designer, this might look kind of weird, but um, and then I just kind of did the whole graph over here. But um, you can see when I zoom in on this, uh, it wasn't very high resolution. So then I, that's why I did it a little bit closer like this, but. I mean, just feel free to use this pure ref board however you want, right? I feel like it's so cool. Um, and if I go to load recent, um, if, uh, let's see, so, or I could go to load. And um, once again, if I go into, um, let's see. Okay, uh, if I go into here, let's see, characters, reference, um, here's one. So if I open this up, here's some characters um, uh, of a short that I'm working on right now. And um, I can see here's kind of some work in progress. And, um, you know, we've got some kind of like notes uh, for work in progress. Um, I can see kind of some quick renders. Uh, that were done of some of the environments and some concept work. Here's some kind of color schemes. Um, once again, some other concepting and you, kind of some work in progress renders. But once again, I feel like you can just kind of throw anything on here. And I feel like it's a great, great way to get started. So hopefully that was helpful. And, um, and then once again, if you ever have questions about the controls, just right click and then go in here and then just kind of dig around in, um, you can see here, you can switch it to grayscale if you wanted to. You could go in here and here's your alignments. Okay, you can stack stuff and you can arrange things and you know select things and do all that kind of stuff. So just once again, really, really cool. Um, hopefully this can be helpful to you, um, whether you're doing sketching or whether you're doing Photoshop work or ZBrush or Maya or Blender or anything, character design, um, I think this is once again a great, great method for you. All right, so if you found that helpful, um, please you know like and subscribe. And uh, if you do that, I can kind of keep 
helping pushing out more content and I just really appreciate your support and I will see you in the future. Thank you.